Going out. This is the second floor, which is considered the lobby. When you come in through the venue, go up the stairs, make it an immediate left, and take it all the way to the end. You can't go anymore. That's what the uh, Serenity Room will be, where you will find the new Boris and loudspeaker stand model. The C1 loudspeaker is a, a brand new speaker from the Denmark group. Jay's already about to bring you the premiere of this speaker, so come and check this out. Thank you guys for having us here and opening doors. <laughs> Glad to see you all. My audience is watching you live on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Bar, appreciate okay. it. Pleasure always seeing you, of course. The man who's been missing in action for some time. <laughs> I've said it already. So, Pete, always Love a pleasure you. seeing you, my man. And, and Tyler. Nice to see you. Um, I want to show you the new creation, okay? The new speaker that you are going to hear at the show here. So, when you come to Exponent, make sure you visit the Serenity Room, second floor, which is the lobby, as I mentioned, hang a left and take it all the way to the end, okay, so that you can check out this brand new creation, $16,500 USD. It includes the beautiful stand, as you can see. It is a larger stand mount speaker than the X1. One of the key differences that I already saw is, look where the carbon fiber is located. Okay, now this is not just for looks or to just make it pretty, although I think it makes it look nicer, but you no longer have the carbon fiber on the top that the X1 has. The reason for this carbon fiber on the side is to reinforce the cavity, okay, to create a much better structure here. The speaker is definitely that speaker that's going to scale larger than the X1. It's going to add a lot more nuance and detail. Think of it as a refined X1, if you will, speaker that's going to hit harder and obviously fill a larger room. Now, I know that, and you guys know by now that, you know, Boris and the Denmark group always brings new stuff together. One of the new things that they brought is their new cable line. Check it out. This is brand new from them. Okay, this is, I don't want to call it entry level because that word always is, is always frowned upon, okay? But this is something more affordable, a new cable line that they're displaying here at the show. For those of you who want to build the entire system, in case you are wondering what this whole system MSRP is for, and let me show you what else they got. You got the integrated all-in-one box solution, the stream, the streamer, the preamp, the amp, it's all in here. Okay. You got at the bottom, of course, a pot what's a power conditioner, if you will, for a thousand dollars. So the whole thing here that you see with the cables and the speakers, the entire system, more or less about thirty thousand dollars USD, give or take. Okay, great system. To be fair, I have not sat here to listen to it because it's still in the beginning stages. It's not broken in. I'm not about to murder the system, not give it an opportunity to break in some more. They literally just got the speakers this past Tuesday, so they're brand new. They may have maybe 20 hours, and then who knows? So we know they're not what they need to be, but I'm sure come Saturday, they're going to be in a better place, and I'm going to be able to gauge in. So... I plan to come and listen to these speakers on Saturday, shoot content on the channel so that you get a feel for them. I know I've had a lot of emails about the X1s. Most of you are highly interested in that speaker because the reality is I haven't seen many ultra high-end brands get down to that level. Why? Because, you know, sometimes it's the prestige. Sometimes it's this, you know... It's like Range Rover, right? They don't ever want to make a super cheap car, but at the end of the day, they're starting to see an opportunity. There's a market segment there. People that want to enter the ultra high end, but don't have deep pockets. And I think that's what the X1 addresses. That's what C1 addresses. That's what you see with the new Axis electronics. All of these things are bringing you closer and closer to what was never possible before. In the past, you have to spend six figures to get into this level of performance. Let's keep it real. When I started this journey, I didn't have the opportunity to hear this quality of, of a system for this kind of money. Didn't. I mean, you have to buy the big BMW speakers, the Nautilus 800s, you have to buy the big center channels, huge Macintosh amplifiers, and that was a lot of money way back when, in the 90s. To hear this level of performance that I'm sure this system delivers for 30 k I've said it a million times. I, am, I mean, I'm sick of repeating myself. It's all done for you for $30,000, $35,000. You take this home and you're happy. Push play. Do not do what I do. These guys know what I do. It's not easy what I do. It's too much work. It's too painful. 
I'm actually thankful that you guys are doing this for you know us audio files, that especially that you've taken out a lot of the cooking in the kitchen that many of us embark on. Yeah. But I think it's so appealing to know that you know you think about every aspect from from the power to the cables to the footers to the <coughs> cable lifters. You're thinking about everything, and so I definitely give you kudos, Michael, for that. Thank you. To have that you know mentality that you understand that audio files are found at different price points and that you finally saw an opportunity here to build quality components at far more affordable prices than we've ever seen before. What, what, it, what is uh, unique about doing super high-end stuff is you always find that little thing that makes a huge difference but it's not really costly. And if you take enough of those, this is what you end up with. This is, yeah. So a lot of this trickle down technology from the most, much more expensive offerings, making its way down to more affordable components. I mean, I've always loved, by the way, the, one of the things I've liked about their design, it's very contemporary. In my opinion, it has a lot of the wife approval factor. It's not bulky, it's not huge, it's not extremely heavy. I mean, even your M6s are about, what, 300 pounds each? Mm -hmm. I think, I think it's it's really, yeah, something like that. So that's not really a super heavy speaker. By any stretch of the imagination, you know the speakers I've owned in the channel, 700 pounds. I need a dually pickup truck. I need a freaking crane to put it on top, you know, inside my room. These guys are thinking about everything. Streamlined components. They're not, they're not huge like elephants in the room. One of the things I've gotten feedback on, by the way, when it comes to loudspeakers, a lot of my customers, clients, people who follow me like the streamlined look because some of them have displays in between. They want to watch TV and movies. Exactly. They have a big screen, exactly. and so you have that, that you have that value of it's narrow and it can be spread apart. The speaker, yeah. leaving you a space for everyone to watch a movie in between. Like what you kind of like what you do here. I mean, you have a big screen. Yeah, <laughs> people, people you know, love that. But the thing is that when you when when you make something that is low in noise, you can pull it apart. If you ever encounter a pair of speakers when you pull them out, that gets a hole in the middle, <coughs> and you listen to the speakers instead. It's noise. It's noise. It's noise. Interesting, yeah. It's so it, many of these things come to me, all this feedback about your design being really accepted by the masses. I've never heard anyone personally, never, and you guys don't call me a liar because none of you have ever told me this. I've never heard any of you call a Boris and speaker ugly. Not one of you, ever. So you know I'm not lying there, okay? So it's highly accepted, aesthetically speaking. Sonically, of course, we know what they do. Huge soundstage out of small speakers that to me, defy the laws of physics. I don't know how you do it. I think it's that tweeter. I'm not an engineer, so I don't want to speak for you, but it's one of the most attractive things I've heard about the stand mounts is this huge sound stage from a small package. I have never heard a speaker that scale. When I heard the X1s on Next Level Hi-Fi, I was shocked. My wife thought it was the bigger X6s that were next to the speaker, and everyone who sat there have the same feel. Yeah. Which ones are playing? And, this is, and even when I first met you, yeah. I, one of the early shows, it was the same effect. People were thinking that it was, I think it was the O series at that time. Yeah, I remember the O ones in, in the, the Tampa show. Remember that, in yeah, the yeah. Tampa. People yeah. had the same. So I don't know, I don't see any other brand doing that currently. Um, when it comes to stand mounts, I think that I this, always. This reflects directly down to the last conversation we had about measurements. And, of course, when you have a speaker like that, you don't have the sub tapes. But when you sit and listen to them, you hear them. It's, it's because our psychoacoustic capabilities are really, really good <coughs> in adding what's missing. As long as there's nothing wrong with the signal, as long as you have the timing, then, then our notion of things are supposed to sound like this, then our brain adds it. But there's, if there's a mismatch in timing and transients, you will never get that sense of extended bass out of a small monitor. That's how we create that impact, that power that these speakers have, is because we have that timing aspect. And let me tell you, they definitely have this huge thunderous bass that I don't know how one single driver is doing that, uh, but I guess it's a testament to your design and to everything that you believe in. So um, when you get here again to Explorer 2024, make sure you visit these guys. They have, what, what rooms do you guys have? At the show, let's yeah. mention them. Yeah, so thank you. Uh, we have five rooms, uh, Next Level Hi-Fi and Audio Group Denmark and Next Level Hi-Fi are doing three rooms together. We have 1607, 1608, where we're showing the X series range. So we'll have the X1, X2, and X3. Okay. With the Forte all in ones. 
So okay. very simple, high performance systems. Uh, and the next level with Lynn, our other business partner, has two rooms on 690 and 694. And that'll be kind of a fun room because we're also using the ANSUS cables. Oh. So we've got a full room of ANSUS cables and accessories supporting two Lynn systems side by side. Nice. So five rooms in total? Five rooms. Serenity 2. Yeah. This is our... Uh, you guys come to the party, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. These guys come to party and blast music and, you know, give you guys the performance. So make sure you visit all the rooms that Tyler just mentioned. It is important that you get out here. I can't stress it enough. Stop listening to a lot of YouTube videos if you are interested in buying any of these products. Get out here. Or go to a show. They're always there. I have never been to a show in which these guys are not present. They're always at shows everywhere, all across the U.S. So I encourage you to come out and listen to the new C1s if you are coming to Expo now. I will be here. Feel free to reach out to me and talk to me. If you have any questions, I'll be around. You got my email address. So that's all I got for now, guys. Hopefully you are enjoying the coverage that I am bringing you today, a day before the show. Please appreciate you and subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you guys. Thanks everyone here in the room for giving me the time and uh, wish you guys success at the show. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. <laughs>